The bow pattern I'm using today is very easy and it's super quick to make and it's actually a free pattern. So you can go get that on my website. I will link to it in the description. And this bow pattern has three different sizes. There is a small, a medium, and a large. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can cut these bows out and then assemble them. I'll link to the supplies as well, but this is what you need. You'll need some alligator clips. You'll also need a glue gun and a glue stick. And if you're using the SVG, you will need a cut machine. If you're using the PDF, you'll need your scissors. Also, something that can be really helpful if you're using scissors is to get a fabric marker. Mine uses disappearing ink, and I highly recommend that. Some of the materials that you can use for this pattern are felt, faux leather, and glitter canvas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with glitter canvas, and I'll show you examples of faux leather and felt. So I'm going to take my glitter canvas, and I am going to flip the top side over so that it is face down and I'm going to take my PDF pattern, this is one of the pattern pieces, and I'm going to lay it right on top of that. I'm going to take my fabric marker and I am going to trace it. Super easy and super simple. So you just trace all the way around the pattern until, you got your, until you've got your nice crisp lines. And it's okay if you draw on your pattern a little bit. I tend to do that all the time because I am not the best tracer. And then once you've got it all traced, you can take your pattern piece, set it to the side, and grab your scissors and go in and cut it out. You want to try to cut right on the line. That way it's about the right size. And try to be careful while you're doing this because if you come out with jagged lines, you, it will be visible in the bow. So you want to make sure it's a pretty smooth cut. There we go. So this is our top bow piece and we are going to cut out the bottom with the Cricut so that you can see how to do that as well. Since I'm using canvas, I'll need to use my fabric mat for my Cricut. And I'm just going to put the canvas right on top of the mat, right aligned where it needs to go. You want to press it down so that it won't move while it's being cut. All right, now I'm going to pull my cut machine over here, and I'm going to send it to cut on my computer, and then I'll load it in. Okay, I've got my material selected. I'm using canvas, so I have my rotary blade in and I'm using my fabric mat. So I'm just gonna load it in. Let it get all ready and then I'm gonna send it to cut. Okay, so <laughs> in my hurry to show you guys this, I actually forgot to select how big my material was, so it didn't cut my full material. So I'm gonna have to go through and cut it one more time. But it's a great reminder that you should always be paying attention to your settings. So it actually went ahead and cut my larger bottom piece. So I am just missing my center tab. So that's all I'm gonna cut out next. All right, now that's all I'm gonna do with the cut machine. So I'm gonna set it back off to the side again. And then I'm gonna pull this off the mat. Set what I don't need off to the side and get my materials ready to assemble. So these are the things that I need and I am ready to assemble the bow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them all over upside down and just put a little bit of hot glue right in the middle of this. And then you're gonna fold both sides to the center so that outside tab is sitting right in the middle and you're going to just press it into that hot glue just like that be careful because this hot glue is hot go figure that's why they call it hot glue right but you don't want to burn your fingers while you're doing this so just be careful and be aware of that so then you do the top piece here and same thing with the top piece that you do with the bottom piece you just fold it over And you want these pieces to be 
touching but not overlapping. So it's kind of like they're just giving each other a little kiss. Okay, once you've folded both of those sides over, we're gonna glue them together. So you're gonna put glue right in the center of the bottom piece, and then you're gonna stack the top piece right on top of that bottom piece where you just put the glue. Then you're gonna take the center tab and you're gonna put it on the back side. And right here, you're gonna to wanna to line up your alligator clip. I put it right in the center of that tab alignment so that the teeth are facing me and it just will fit like that. Then I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm gonna put it right in there. And I'm gonna glue the whole tab piece and the alligator clip into place right here. And remember, the stuff is hot. <laughs> Don't burn your fingers. Okay, then you're gonna flip the bow over so that you have your tab glued to the back side and now you're gonna put some glue on the front side right in the middle there. And then you're gonna wrap the tab down, fold the tab down on top of that. Let that glue sit for a second. Then you're gonna go back to the back side and you're gonna open up the alligator clip and you're gonna slide the rest of the tab inside that alligator clip. And with the alligator clip open, you want to put some hot glue right in between those things right there. And then glue it down in place. Now just let the glue cool down and the bow's done. So it's like I said, they're super quick and they're super easy. So these are all the ones that I've made in glitter canvas. Um, I'm kind of obsessing over glitter canvas right now. And it's been kind of fun because I got some of the Christmas colors going on. So depending on how you, so depending on what color schemes you use, you can even put these together for like holidays or events or things like that. So these are really fun. And this is what they look like in felt and faux leather and then the glitter canvas. So you can use any of these materials. I have all the materials and supplies and instructions listed in my blog post and I have that in the description below so you can go check it out and get your free pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to give it a like and a share and a subscribe and you know all the things <laughs> because I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and make sure you stick around for more videos. How many is too many? Oh, I got a flag. <laughs>